Get ready to match the stars. George Kennedy. Brent Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. Judy Landers. From Carter Country, Richard Paul. And George Beautifon. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game. Now, here's the star of Match Game, Gene Raver. Well, John, how are you? Good, John. How are you out there? Oh. It's a good group. Oh, oh, oh. oh you're gone. having a good time this no, week, aren't you? I'm having a rotten time. I'm very depressed <laughs> about the I whole thing. Because I can change. <laughs> well, he doesn't catch on to something. You ready? Like that. Yes. Oh, boy, I'll bet you are. Let's say hello to Foresti Hogan and Michael Matheson. We're in the second game, right? That's right. She won the first game. She has $5,500. And now we're just going to see how this game will go. Where did, we, where did we go in here? One question. Yours, right? And you match one of our stars. Right. And now you're going to have a go at here. You want A or B? B. I think I'll take B. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Here, have you, I say, have you heard? Have you heard that Abdul the Arab just developed a new perfume? It's called Eau du Blanc. <laughs> oh, you do, you do have an answer, but that's it. Now oh, we've got the idea. Okay. Have you heard that Abdul the Arab just developed a new perfume? It's called Eau de Oil. Eau de Oil. Oh, the oil. Have they got that oil? Oh, the oil that we used to buy. There we go. Yes, ma'am. Yes, of course. In honor of all the wonderful people in the world who own everything. <laughs> oil. <laughs> Camel. Camel is a good one. I love it. Camel is a wonderful answer. So it's two to one at this moment. Judy, uh, this new perfume developed by the Arabs is called Eau de... Camel. Camel. <laughs> all right. If it were one hump, it would be owed to uh, dromedary. <laughs> this is a camel. Two humps. Right. OK, so we got lots of camels and oil so far. Joyce, what do you offer? I didn't go along with the humps. I said oil. Oh. Oil. OK. Score is now three to one. We go to round two here. And Foresi, since you're ahead, we'll ask you to go first. A. OK. Three people played. Charles. Yo, Gene, I'm here. Yes. Judy plays, the other guy. And this guy. I play? Oh. Yes. Jim said, I'll never fly on Colonel Sanders' airline again. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. The wings of the plane were blank. <laughs> OK. Ready for Resi. <laughs> Jim like said, I'll never too. fly on Colonel Sanders' airline again. I couldn't believe it. The wings of the plane were blank. Were fried? Yeah. Were fried. Yeah. Charles, she said the wings of the plane were fried. I said they were flapping. Flapping, <laughs> as real chicken wings would do. OK, mm -hmm. what did you say? The wings of the plane were? They were fried. Oh. Yeah. OK. I said they were extra crispy chicken wings. Uh, extra crispy chicken wings? Mm -hmm. That is not fried. Oh, I see. Well, okay. You, how do you think they got extra crispy? Yeah. You get fried from drinking, Richard Paul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, four to one to score in the middle of round two, and you get one more shot at it right after this for you. Expect the unexpected. Sit on it. On Buzzer's seventh annual Lost and Found. Returns Monday starting at four. Only on Buzzer. Let's play if you dare.
Here we go. This is the final round. Michael, it's all yours. Good luck to you. Freddie said, I went to the world's meanest eye doctor. Oh, boy. He put... Boy, you kids stink. Should we give him another chance? One more, darling, and not another one. It's hot. One. It's humid today. It is humid, yes. Freddie said, I went to the world's meanest eye doctor. Oh. He was expecting it. I'll tell you how mean he was, as long as you've asked him. He put my contact lenses in with blank. That's how mean he was. He put my contact lenses in with blank. Very good. Okay. Freddie said, I went to the world's meanest eye doctor. He put my contact lenses in with... <laughs> I don't know, a, f a fork. Oh. Are you a do-it-yourselfer, Michael? Are you handy around the house? I think I should be from now on, yes. <laughs> There's one answer that occurred to me oh. immediately, and I wonder if it occurred to anyone else. George, what have you got? Oh. Is it contact cement? Contact cement, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good, yeah. That would hurt a lot, yeah, and sure. that would be a mean thing to do because it's very sticky Ab stuff. I mean, Dutch, it would be really, but the, he was mean. He was as mean as a snake. He put his little contacts in like, with thumbtacks. Oh. <laughs> that very bad. Really cruel. Yeah. That's really cruel. Okay. Now, that means you've got to match everybody down here, right, to achieve a tie and stay in the game? Is that right? Okay, here we go. Judy, hold up your card, show and tell. Crazy glue. Crazy glue. So that means for us to win the what do you have? A hammer. A hammer you had with whiskey. Oh, wonderful. Okay, come on down, Celeste. Right there, if you would, please. Well, Michael, we've got some gifts coming your way. Many thanks for being with us Thank here you, at Match man. Game. A Pleasure to meet Michael Matheson. All right. Second game here for Essie. You got 5,500. Let's see how much more you'll win with this audience match. We polled the studio audience, said write down your best answer to this. Blank jump. Remember, 500 for the most popular, 250 for the second, and 100 for the third. Whom do you call on over here? Uh, Richard. Parachute. Richard. Parachute jump, okay. Charles? Hop, skip, and a jump. Hop, skip, oh, and a jump. You. And George? Uh, broad jump. Broad jump. So you have broad jump, hop, skip, and a jump, and a parachute jump. You want one of those, or would you like to give us one of your own? Could you name them again? Hop, skip, and a jump. Okay. Broad jump, mm -hmm. and parachute jump. Okay. Hop, skip, and a jump. Hop, skip, and a jump. All right. Okay, who said hop, skip, and a jump? Uh, Charles said. <laughs> okay, let's see if we got hop, skip, and a jump somewhere under the $100 number. Oh. Hop, skip, and jump, you got it right off the bat. Another $100 for you. What do you think's under the next one, Ferenci? Parachute jump. All right, slide it. Oh. No, broad jump is there. It's gonna you be think... high jump. It's you high watch, jump. it's gonna high be jump. high jump. Audience thinks it's gonna be high jump. It okay, is. slide the big one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so she's got $100. Multiplied right, by 10 luck. is $1,000. That's the least you can play for, but again, you're gonna spin the wheel, no, 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 and you can no, no, double no. it and play for $2,000. Good luck, Foresi, having a go. Let's root for a double. Foresi, go. <laughs> Yeah. All right, here we go. $2,000. This is it. Blank gravy. Blank gravy. You will uh, 
Judy, you'll write your answer, and then when you're finished, you put it in the slot, and we'll get a verbal response from Foresi. Blank gravy. Got it already? Yes. Oh, you're quick. <laughs> Okay, now, if you give us the answer that Judy's written on the card, you get $2,000. What do you say to that? Brown gravy. Brown gravy. <laughs> what, 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 what's wrong, Judy? Can I take it out? Can you take it out? <laughs> and you want to show everybody what answer you got? Are you proud of your answer? Very proud. Really? Uh-huh. What does it say? Cream gravy? Brown gravy. Brown gravy. Congratulations to Ferrissi Holden with $7,600, and now we got this message for you. players right now. Here comes Gypsy Gillum and Denise Von Spiegel. Hello there, ladies. Welcome. Let's get acquainted, find out who you are and where you're from. You'll both be playing two games, of course. Denise, tell us about you. I live in Northern California. My name is Denise Von Spiegel, and I'm a long-distance operator. Really? What's the longest distance you've operated? <laughs> <laughs> What does von Spiegel mean? Uh, in German, it will impression. My dad says it means the house of mirrors. The house of mirrors. Mm -hmm. And oh, isn't believe that a it, nice it's true. Nice name. Yes. 
And what? It's true. It is true. Mm -hmm. You live in a house of mirrors? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have okay. a few. Okay, good luck to Denise. And here's Gypsy Gillum. Where are yes. you from? I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, originally from a little town called Middlesex. Middlesex. Middlesex, <laughs> with a name like Gypsy, too. <laughs> I'm married, have a son, Tony, age 12, and I work for an airline. And I'm here, I hope I can win some money. Well, good luck to both of you ladies here. Let's begin. <laughs> you can have A or B. Jean, can I have B, please? Denise said she wants B. New game, everybody plays. Muggsy said, I come from a neighborhood that's so sleazy at the neighborhood Playboy Club, the girls don't dress like bunnies. They dress like blanks. <laughs> Sleazy neighborhood. <laughs> How is New York? Oh, it was just wonderful. The weather was glorious. I know. It. Oh, I want it. I oh, got a hat called I Love New York, and it lit up and everything. Woo! Did I have a good time? The hat or you? I didn't <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time you have, Captain. We've got to get on now. Yeah, that's a tough one. That is kind of a tough one. Well, well no, I thought of one immediately. I'll tell you what about it later. Yes. Here we go. Muggsy said, I come from a neighborhood that's so sleazy at the neighborhood Playboy Club. The girls don't dress like bunnies, they dress like blanks. I drew a blank, Jean, but what I'm trying to remember is the little animal with the stripe down his back, skunk. A skunk. Mm -hmm. Well, you would hardly find skunks in the city, uh, but you would find what, George? Well, I didn't go for the animal. I couldn't think of anything. I, they dress like cops. Oh. <laughs> so he drew a blank too, Denise. <laughs> How did, you, did you draw a blank? Uh, huh? <laughs> Uh, I said another member of the rodent family. I've never felt the same way about rabbits since I found out they were rodents and squirrels, too. Yeah. I was a grown-up person, thank heavens. Mice! Mice, yeah. Because you could find them a lot in There's the city. A lot city of them in the all. city, and, and also a lot of... Yes? Ah, wrong! That's wrong! But rabbits are rodents! No, he meant rats. <laughs> There was an inadvertent ding. I heard you now, ding. Can I ask you something? I he dinged. I, mean, I, I know. I dinged the years when I used to ding. It was wonderful. Really? I would like to just ask you a question, Ira, because I have to know about my sensitivity and my musicianship. <laughs> has the bell been changed since the last taping? Yes, it has. Ira, no, the buzzer and the, the bell, they sound different the bell up here changed. to all of us. Now, it's the same unit, but I think they're amplifying them more or something. But don't worry about it, Charles. <laughs> You won't worry about it with well, honey, seven he years directs of hearing the bell one way, suddenly they switch it on you, you don't know what's happening. That's right. I mean, I it's... got used to the bell for six years. It was a certain bell. It meant something to me. Now it's a new bell. <laughs> I mean, send us a memio on it, a mimeo, a memo. Yeah. <laughs> mimeo. <laughs> How about just a mimi? Remind me to write to Lynn. Hello Lincoln. there, Judy. <laughs> How do you feel today? I feel real good. Yes, that's good. <laughs> Now, let's see. At the Playboy Club in our sleazy neighborhood, the girls don't dress like bunnies. They dress like... Like rats. Rats! <laughs> oh, a sleazy neighborhood, there'd be a lot of rats, Denise. That seems to be the definitive answer. Very good, Judy. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Is it such a good answer? It's a very good answer. Rats! Rats it is! Joyce, do you have rats? No, I no? don't have rats. Should I? No. <laughs> uh, I got alley cats. Alley cats? Okay, that's another good one. All right, Gypsy, we're ready for yours. Here it is. Some match game words of wisdom for you now. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> little organ music in the background would be nice. If we, we can't had avoid it. Yeah. Oh, we can. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know when you're broke. Keep on. Uh -huh. The music background has to go off. Friends, you know you're broke when the only... Are you humming? Hum! <laughs> hum! I'm just so leave her out of it! <laughs> hum! <laughs> you know you're broke when the only thing supporting you is your blank. <laughs> I can't hum 
listen to the same. <laughs> Can you chew gum and hum? Chew gum and hum? You know you're broke when the only thing supporting you is your blame. Yes, of course. That'll be wonderful. Already here we go, Gypsy. It's a match game, words of wisdom, Gypsy. You know you're broke when the only thing supporting you is your blank. Social Security. Social Security. <laughs> See, that conceivably could support you. See, you gave us a logical answer on this dumb, illogical show. We don't look for logic on this show. All right, George. The only thing supporting you is your arches, and they've fallen. Yeah. <laughs> That's a goodie. I said, the only thing is supporting you is your jock strap. <laughs> that guy really gives you good answers, doesn't he? Okay. Okay, baby. Cheer any scores, Brett? <laughs> I said suppose. Suppose. <laughs> Some words of us. You know you're broke uh, when the only thing supporting you is your... Is your bra. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, you don't. No, no. Yes, Richard. I do wear jockey shorts. <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> okay, Joyce. Well, we all have different needs, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I said chin strap. Chin strap. Oh, you poor middle-aged lady. <laughs> no, you're not middle-aged at all. I have to take that from you. Right. Where are we? We're at the end of round one here, and neither lady has matched any of our stars. You will promise to match later, won't you, right after this message. Thank you. What are they talking about? Liza Minnelli for hot dogs. They're talking about Talk About. Prince Charles is right. Yeah! Weekdays at 8.30, right here on Buzzer.
Now we have a little time. We're going to play a match game with somebody here in the studio audience. We have $50 to give away to see which one of these people here will match one of our stars. Richard Paul, let's call on you, sir. Put, uh, write down an answer to this, if you would, please. Blank Lantern, L-A-N-T-E-R-N. Now, if you want to respond to it, you can raise your hand if you want to be on camera, and we'll call on you. What's your name, please? Uh, Linda Vady. Where are you from, Linda? Uh, Philadelphia, originally. And you live here now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say to that blank lantern? I'd say jack-o'-lantern. Jack-o'-lantern. Richard, do you have jack-o'-lantern on that No, cut? but that's a wonderful answer. <laughs> yeah, that is a wonderful answer. Okay, he didn't have, she didn't. Is it going to be another one? Your name? Uh, Pat Hope. From where? Prosperity, South Carolina. Well, hallelujah, Pat. What do you say to this, blank lantern? Chinese lantern. Chinese oh, lantern, another Richard. Another good answer. Another but... good answer. <laughs> People in the audience are wonderful. Your name, please? Ella May Leonard from Pasadena. And what do you say? Red lantern. Red lantern. Oh, thank goodness. Red lantern. <laughs> Today's consolation prizes are air temp room air conditioner with efficient rotary compressor. Enjoy a cool, cool summer at lower operating costs with air temp's high efficiency model. And Pedro's Fine Mexican Restaurants combines fast service and family prices with freshly cooked Mexican cuisine and delightful dining experience. Pedro's Fine Mexican Restaurants. And entertain in style with beautiful dinaware paper plates from Pound. The thickness, firmness, and strength, dinaware. And a Fabergé collection featuring organic shampoo and conditioner, both with pure wheat German honey for fresh smelling hair with super shine, super body organics by Fabergé. And from Hawaiian Tropic comes an attractive beach mat and Hawaiian Tropic natural tanning lotions and oils. Hawaiian Tropic, the town of the islands. And the grill, an Eskimo pie, dairy fresh vanilla ice cream covered with special chocolate flavored coating. Eskimo pie, refreshing and delicious anytime for a no fuss treat. And toast a new day, a new way with Lenders frozen bagels. Three slices with no preservatives. Lenders bagels frozen for freshness and a host of delicious flavors from Lenders. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game, a Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production. This program has been edited for broadcast. It's the newlywed game.